What's up guys, my name is VK and welcome to another exciting Phenomenal Creations video tutorial and this is the second episode in the Fusion 9 series, hope you guys are excited and as this is the second one, if you haven't seen the first one, please make sure you have checked it out and check out the cards around below, There, we, it's a getting started, it's a base for everything we're gonna do in the series, so if you haven't checked it out, it's gonna, there's a lot of very crucial information for you to know how to get started with the program. So if you haven't ever tested it out, check it down up there, links down below for everything you need to know. But enough chit chat, this is the second episode and in this one, we're gonna take a deep dive from the first one and go ahead and understand what nodes do. So when we open up Fusion, we have the basic layout, we know we're familiar with it from the first one, and we have the flows, and we have the previews, and we have the tools and modifiers. Let's go ahead and start working. So this is this episode is all about the nodes, the foundation, the bricks, to build anything from, from 0 to 100 in your VFX production. So how we get media inside here, we're gonna use a loader node, and loader node, you can get it from just clicking in the in here on the top, we can feed the LD loader node, we can click it down there, and it, op and it op opens up. Other way we can do is go ahead and shift space and type in loader, this is the way I like to do this. So loader node here, and it will open up like this media, a media file analyzer uh, preview window here, where you can find your uh, your computer and all the media you have there. So I'm gonna go find some GH GH5 footage, panel one two twenty five, and click enter. And this is my footage here. I will click number one on the key uh, keypad to get it to to the composition, the first viewer here. So we can check out what this looks like. So this is just some sixty p slow mo footage from a GH5, and this will be our reference footage for this video. And as you saw, when I dropped the node here, it automatically had this tile appear um, for for it to show a preview, a thumbnail for the effect or the node or anything you want for the node, it shows a thumbnail. If you don't have this, you can right click and have force all tile pictures. If you don't have this, like this, it will show just a line of text. So let's go ahead and force all top pictures to have thumbnails. So when we add effects or composition nodes, we'll go those into later. So you can see it's easier to visualize to see what kind of effects and stuff you have laid out. Okay, so the first thing we have, we have got our loader node, that's our first one. Then we have property nodes. The, these are not so many, but these will add some basic transformation um, control over your, your video clips and stuff you, you're trying to control. So if we go ahead and shift space again. Let's find the transform uh, node here. Let's click on that. Enter. So we have our transform node here. And this, if we click on it, we can see in the properties or in the tool panel. We can find something like size and aspect and angle. There's the rotation, the size, the aspect ratio, where it's positioned and, and some edges. These are cool and we'll talk about this just in a second. But we need to have, uh, how do we control this over in this clip here? So what we do is go to them, them this Panasonic one, the footage clip here and click on this red box, click and hold and take their this node pick whip and type it to them the red input to the yellow output arrow here. Then let's go ahead and select the transform and click on number two so have it on the second viewer here. Now if you go ahead and change the size, we can see it's changing the size. We can change the aspect ratio, like we can scoot down or scoot up like this and change the angle if we want to. We can hold the command or control key to get some fine tune controls, but there's just some extra stuff. Then the edges, these are cool stuff we can have we can have wrap, we can have duplicates, we have mirrors. Mirrors we widely use we, you, when we do camera shakes. This is a very co a cool method to get rid of the black bars that appears without losing uh, resolution. So, so those are cool stuff. So for demonstration purposes, let's go ahead and just reset these like this. But let's go ahead and scale this up just to just a touch and have some aspect ratio and some some rotation and let's go ahead and position it like this just so we have seen something happen 
Then from the property nodes, we move to effect nodes. And effect nodes are pretty much like 90% of all the nodes available in Fusion that are nodes that affects the clip or gives it properties to, to stylize it or, you know, effects in, in, in general. So those can be color correction, blurs, uh, linear wipes, all this kind of cool stuff. So for example, let's add a color corrector. So take a color corrector node right here, we can see, and this is where we have the tile images. So you can see, okay, hey, this is the color corrector and not just a tile of text. Let's once again take the red tile, pick it to the output, the, uh, the output to the input, the red, yeah, red output to the yellow input right here. And let's have it on the second viewer. Let's give some, let's go ahead and take the gamma up and give some contrast and drop the saturation and give it some, some greenness. It doesn't have to look good. The ba the basic part is that we have, we, we have done something. We have done an effect. Awesome. Then we, we can do, we can add another one. We can take a blur, blur node here. Same method. Let's go ahead and take the output to the input like this have it on the second one and give it some blur for example like this so if you have your footage so let's yeah let's take a recap you have your footage right here and when you add effects you can just add them really chronologically from the output to the input one after another to start affecting a clip so that's super easy but when we start compositing putting stuff together and have as uh, stuff um work with each other, we have stock footage, we have elements we want to use to build our VFX, then we're going to use something in the composition node area, we're going to use some something called a merge node. This merge node is something we are going to use a whole lot in the series, in your work, in my work. This is our babe right here. Let's first go ahead and drop the, uh, let's delete the blur node, how we can, uh, we can delete a node is you click select it and click the delete key to just to to delete and if you want to unlink uh, a node you can just click on this blue highlighted area in the arrow that will unlink it let's go back a step here okay we're gonna have an merge node because i want to put something on this clip here so how i'm going to do this well first we need a loader node we have to load our second type of footage here Go here and take a side smoke four here. Let's put it on the number one here. These are from Action VFX, amazing action assets. Check them out. Link down in the description. You probably have heard of these guys by now if you have followed the channel, but they are amazing in what they do. So definitely go check those out. Okay, so I want to have this smoke layer appear on top of the video. So this is not just an effect you can take from output to input. That, that That's not how it works since this is not an effect. This is a loader node. So what we're going to need is we're going to need a merge node here. And the merge is a node that compels or puts together two types of loader nodes, two types of different kind of footage. So, and it also a whole lot of other stuff we're going to go down in the series. So, firstly, let's go ahead and take the output to the input. So, it affects, this is the final image we're going to see here. Like this. And then we want to put this one, uh, the smoke layer, in the foreground. And what we will have in the background is this clip here. And if you're confused on how in the order he has a lot of arrows and boxes and where you're going to drag, what you can do is you can go ahead and take this, uh, the pick whip tool, hold the option or the alt key and drop it on the merge and type in background, click on the background now. And it's also the yellow arrow is the background. So now we know that our, our footage is the background. And we're going to put this one in the foreground so it appears in front of it. But then you can also go change those up if you want to. Let's take the output node here and hold the Alt key and type their foreground here like this. And have the merge tool in number two. So now here we have our footage. So what we can do is we can go to the side smoke and we need to scale that up so we can go to the merge tool and scale this up right here and take the apply mode to screen to get away with the blacks like that too. And then we can go to the timeline and edit where we want the 
smoke to begin kind of like this so when we click play what we'll find is now we have our smoke on top of our footage layer so that's very cool there you go it's going to change the blend and that's basically the opacity you can scale it up and position it and do the angle stuff you know you know the deal so that's how the merge node works and that's that's something that's very helpful so uh, this is where if you want to add now you have a smoke here if you want to add something more what you do is you add another merge tool like this output to input like this so always when you add stuff you have to add a new mer new merge node but if you want to add effects you can add them like this in a chronological order very easy but always when you want to put something new you have to add a merge node so so this is something what we can do we can go ahead and for example add a text text plus here we're gonna go more into titling next week or not next week but next fusion tutorial so stay tuned of uh, change to for that one so that's gonna be cool so again output to in uh, input to in the foreground here how the merge to the second one let's go to the text and find type in to tutorial size it up like this and well we can ha have it in open sans it looks good and in the merge tool we can go ahead and make it for example overlay like this so everything you add something new you have to add a merge layer but this is the basics of how it works and so that's super intuitive that's super awesome and there's a lot you can do so this is for you a starting point but when you want to export your footage how you do that well there comes the saver node and the saver node is is the one where you're gonna select where you want to save it I want to save it to the desktop click save and put this one right here we have a saver node and then you click create and start saving click create and that starts saving the process so let's take a really small recap we have a loader node that puts our effects uh, put on our footage into the program we have effect nodes and property nodes put into in chronological order if you want to manipulate the clip then you have a merge node that you get what you use when you want to blend in to loader node uh, footages together and all the time when you want to add something new then you have to use another merge node and then you use a saver node to export the clip out this was vk my name is vk hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial and if you did and you feel like being awesome don't forget to hit that like button just below this video give me a comment tell me what you think and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already since the fusion fusion series are continuing with the after effects ones so make sure ring the bell so you will never miss out on a new video my name is vk hope you guys are having a good time i'll see you guys in the next one